In May 1951, the NNC launched a plebiscite in Nagaland, which resulted in 99% of all Nagas endorsing complete support for an independent Nagaland. The issue of Naga independence and the verdict of the Naga plebiscite was put to the then first Prime Minister of India, Jawaharlal Nehru, in Delhi on March the 11th, 1952. Now, even though Nehru had supported self-determination for the Nagas in 1944, when faced with the demand, he simply exploded with anger and exclaimed, Whether heaven falls or India goes to pieces and blood runs red in the country, I don't care. Whether I am here or for that matter, any other body comes in, I don't care. Nagas will not be allowed to become independent. In January 1952, the National Council launched a civil disobedience campaign, refusing to pay taxes and boycotting India's first ever general election. No Nagas stood for election. No Nagas voted. Nevertheless, on March the 30th, 1953, the Nagas welcomed Nehru's decision to visit Kohima. The Prime Minister was accompanied by his daughter, Indira Gandhi, and also by the Burmese Premier, Unu. The Naga National Council leaders were busy preparing the memorandum to be submitted to the two Prime Ministers. Thousands of Nagas gathered at the Kohima football ground. But Nehru was rigid. Just before the meeting, he gave instructions stopping the Nagas from making any oral or written address to the reception. As a result, the Naga delegation walked out in defiance of such blatant repression. Nehru and Unu were left, almost alone, to address just a handful of government servants. Nehru felt humiliated. Immediately, arrest warrants were issued for eight NNC leaders. The whole Naga Hills district and the sensitive areas were declared disturbed. House raids on Naga leaders followed, and many went into hiding. The Disturbed Area Act was imposed on the Naga Hills in 1954. Nagaland, in effect, fell under the cloud of martial law. Realizing the danger of armed repression, on August the 10th, 1954, Fizo entered into an agreement with the leaders of Free Nagas and formed the Naga Country Guard to oppose the Indian Armed Forces. The first armed resistance group was born. By 1955, the Indian Army, or the Jawan, moved into Tensang. The Assam Disturbed Areas Act of 1955 was introduced to enable the Assam Armed Police and the Assam Rifles to act without any legal restriction whatsoever. A reign of terror broke out, and the open war commenced, a war that has brought heavy casualties and loss of life to both sides for many years. On the 22nd of March 1956, the Naga National Council inaugurated its federal government of Nagaland, known as the FGN, an armed opposition movement and amalgamated with the Naga Home Guard, soon to be known as the Naga Army. In 1956, the fighting intensified between the Indian security forces and the Naga resistance. Churches were burned. Villages raised. Aircraft were used to bomb and harass the Nagas. Women were raped, and they continued to be molested. Even places of worship were not spared from the violations. Bible Hill, for example, 
the Christian Mission Centre in Fokuhima was occupied by units of the 14th Assam Rifles. They burnt the Reverend Palesto Chase, the head of the centre, to death. And between 1954 and 1964, innocent villagers were arrested and confined in Indian jails and concentration camps. Many died. Others were simply mutilated. 